Hello out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 with a review of a couple of toys that I found on a trip to my local Kmart today. These are the Sprue Kits. Yes, posable Figaro model kit. I love the slight little bit of English there, because they are designed in Japan. And indeed, they are made by Bandai. Uh, this is the LBX Achilles, LBX being a acronym for Little Bachelor's Experience. It's supposed to be like an entry-level model kit for the youngins in the group. Um, it only has 22 pieces, no cutting, painting, or glue required, and uh, it only costs 8 bucks. And the big kit is um, Commander Sarah Palmer from Halo. Uh, I never heard of this character before, but I saw an awesome female space marine, and I had to give it a shot. Uh, now this is a level 2 kit, although the age rating is the same. I guess the age rating is more of a safety rating than anything else, because, um, well, despite the fact that it's snapped together and requires no paint or glue, it has 113 pieces. That is quite a bit of uh, work. Now, I'm, I was I had to pick these things up because I found them in a Kmart in mass retail, like just sitting there in the in the building toys section next to the Kinects and Mega Blocks and Legos. I haven't seen um, action figure model kits of this quality in stores since since the Gundam series uh, was like since Gundam Wing was back on uh, Toonami back in the late 90s and early 2000s and uh, Japanese stuff was just becoming popular in America for the for like the first uh, real time at least in anime so yeah that, that trend didn't last long because model kits weren't as popular in America as they were in Japan but uh, every now and then they come back and this seems to be their latest incarnation um, these look really cool by the way uh, probably an attempt to make this uh, ostensibly Japanese style model kit more popular in America. You can also get them in superhero forms. Uh, there's movie Batman, Superman, comic book Batman, and the Joker. They all look really cool and they are available on both the small scale and the big scale. I didn't get them because I like science fiction more than I like superheroes. Although the two genres are crossing a bit more. Uh, but still... If you like model kits and you like um, the DC superheroes better than you like Japanese stuff or Halo, then these guys look like they would make awesome action figures. So, before we open this thing up, let's take one last look at the packaging. Um, it says the level of dedication you need to build it. The height, once built, 3 inches. How much time, which uh, there's no context for that bar. Uh, the level of detail and the level of articulation. You also scroll down you see what the figure will look like when completed and a quick graphical instruction on how the thing comes apart. Take the things and snap them together. Very simple. Just for comparison, let's take a look at the back of the big sprue kit. And as you can see, this is a level 2 kit with all those extra parts it kind of has to be. It's going to be 5 inches when built, will take more time, has more detail, and way more articulation. This is going to be fun. And then of course there's some shots showing pretty much the exact same thing. And it shows other figures that are going to be in the series. I didn't see Master Chief or the Spartan Gabriel, but um, you know, Gabriel Thorns, but uh, I'm not sure if the line is good then we'll see more of those in the store later on. Although I'm probably not going to buy them. I, I'm not the hugest fan of Halo, as you remember from my cat review. I just think that the design of the female Spartan is really cool. Um, and this is the kind of thing where the assembly instructions are on the inside of the box, so you have to be careful when you open it. There's, um, there's a perforated line here at the top that you're supposed to pull on, and then the box will open up into a flat sheet with the instructions. Um, so let's get the big kit out of the way. 
and I'm going to build this little one on camera. Okay, before the actual construction begins, uh, here's the instructions on the inside of the box. Very simple. You get to see other characters in the series. I got the little knight up here. There's also this um, gunner guy and uh, this, oop, <laughs> sorry, and uh, the shield guy and uh, that guy. They look kind of cool. Very interesting designs. I saw this one and this one in the store, but I didn't see this one. So, in all the parts, there's some sticker decals and parts on the sprue here in the box. So, let's open up this baggie, get the sprues out, and uh, build according to the instructions. Alright, so, um, the footage of me assembling the model kit was 11 minutes long. Uh, so that would be quite a thing to sit through, so I decided to speed it up four times to two minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, sure that would be more bearable for you. You just saw me assemble the hips, and now I'm doing the upper body. This had a sticker decal on the chest. You simply slap that on. Uh, the sticker decals fit really well. They are cut extremely nicely so that they fit right over the molded details. Um, there's no nothing slippery or feels like it doesn't fit, but, um... The details are all sculpted in there, so if you didn't want to use the stickers and you wanted to go all hardcore, you could in principle paint all the details on and not miss anything. Uh, now making the head, there's another sticker on the face. Um, the head is simple, it's in, it's in four parts if you count the two parts to make the crest. So um, yeah, that, that's the whole thing about this figure, it's simple and easy to assemble. It's obviously made for, for first timers, or maybe as something to just you know, occupy your time for maybe 10 minutes. Um, the arms and legs are also simple. Right now I'm making the leg. It's only three parts. And you just saw me launch a part across the table because I put it in sideways. Uh, you see, yeah, there's just um, there's thigh, shin, foot. And that plugs right into the hip. It has a good range. I like these ball joints. They aren't so loose that they want to um, wiggle around and fall out. But they're also not so tight that when you stick them in, they, they can't move. Um, you may remember the first model kit I built, that Hime brain-powered robot. It looked cool, but the joints on the thing were so tight that I ended up having to throw away because when I tried to pose it, it broke. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good to have an action figure model kit when you should deign to do something like pose it and the darn thing snaps apart. Um, there's a little sticker decal on the shoulder pauldron, which I just showed you guys. And the arm is the arm is only two pieces. There's a shoulder and then the arm, which already has a hand. Um, again, it's all snapped together. Real simple. And uh, the cape is the only one that's put on the red sprues, um, along with the mohawk thing. Oh, and this, this highlight, that's the ball joint. That tiny, easy-to-miss piece, that's the ball joint that connects the cape to the body. So when you're making this kit, you got to be careful. Um, that you don't forget that tiny, tiny piece. I ended up having to glue the cape onto that ball joint because the connection to the, from the ball joint to the back was stronger than the connection of the ball joint into the cape itself. And here he is with his accessories. Let's get a more detailed look at him now. Okay, so here's Achilles completely built. Gonna do a little figure review of him briefly. Let's get a zoom in, seeing him in all his glory. From his little crusted helmet, sticker applied face, all the way down to his uh, feet. Okay, let's turn him around. There's a really big crest, as you can see. Yeah, going down. He has good posture, good proportions. And his cape has a letter A embossed on it. Isn't that nice? A for Achilles. There are some hollow spots in his back. Not too bad. This comes with the whole model kit thing. Uh, for size comparison, here is a silver figure. About the same height, if you count silver's hair. So yeah, it's not a very big figure. It's only three inches tall, as advertised on the packaging. But it looks, it looks pretty good. There's uh, little sculpted details and flares, and the sticker applications look nice. Uh, articulation, his head is ball-jointed. It can tilt to the side and turn. 
There's nothing getting in its way. His shoulders are... Whoop. Don't faint Achilles. E. Yeah, you gotta be a little gentle because it's only a, a snap together model kit so it can come apart kind of easily. But he has ball jointed shoulders that are on stems so they have a little bit of range. And they can of course go all the way around. Um, because of the ball joints, his, his elbows are get a good 90 degrees. I was afraid that those would be restricted by the ball joint connections. But they made a cut into the, um, into the arm so that there'd be room for the bend. And he has a bicep swivel since it is a ball joint. So that's good. His hands look kind of weird the way they're sculpted, but that's for holding things. Um, his cape is on a ball joint. So you can pull it up like this and, and turn it, you know. It's, it's just a static piece of plastic, but at least it can move around back there. So it, it can look like it's blowing in the wind or sitting at his back. He has a waist joint. There's a ball in there, but, it, but it's restricted, so it's only a swivel. And he has ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles, allowing for nice splayed leg positions. And his knees, they get almost 90 degrees in their bend. The hips are probably the most restricted. They can go they can't go forward as far as they can go out because they, they hit the skirt. But um it's okay. Like like the for for the low articulation score that the model kit gets, it's um it's not bad. Uh, it's it's comparable to to most articulation getting uh, little figures this size For accessories here is his awesome spear It's all just white plastic, but there's a lot of really cool detailing on this thing. It looks great um, And he can hold it either here by this thing that looks like a handle up near the head of the spear or down on the shaft He holds it e equally well. You just gotta kind of stick it into his fingers like I suppose this would be like if, when he's standing at attention and guarding in in honor guard mode. That's how he'd hold his spear, like like that. And in battle, you can actually you'd actually have him holding the spear here so that he can thrust it. I mean, without any wrist movement, you're not going to get too too many poses, but you can make him look pretty cool wielding that spear. And let's see if the bicep swivels will allow for two hand wielding. E going to have to get a little bit creative with the sh oh oh eye stickers coming off. E come on. If only I had fingernails. Okay. Yeah, you might want to use a toothpick to push in the eyes to make sure they go all the way into the sculpt. Niche. There, like that. I had just enough fingernails to pull it off. And, oh, oh, am I doing it? Am I doing it? Yes! It is possible for him to two-hand wield the spear. I mean, it kind of pushes the articulation of his arms to the limit, but you can do it. That doesn't look bad at all. That's actually a pretty good two-hand pose. And it's actually pretty cool that you can two-hand wield the spear so well. Even if... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's literally going to be the only pose you can get it into. Because um, the shield, although it's really cool, is kind of unwieldy. Because uh, the peg that, that he holds it by sticks straight up. So that means you just kind of you just kind of shove it on there. You stick it in his hand like this. So once he's holding it, you're not really going to get much posability out of the arm. So you can just you just kind of hold it at his side. It looks cool for a shelf display. Don't don't expect to play with him with the thing in his hand. Well, actually, it looks pretty cool. Let's uh let's zoom out, get a good view of him. Well, actually, I'm. Let's just push him back more towards the stage so that I can zoom in on him and not get any background elements. So that is Achilles. Um, he's a little guy. He, uh, he's easy to put together as you saw. And he, he just looks really nice. This is a cute little thing. And the other dudes are probably cool as well. 
I would recommend checking him out if you're into model kits and tiny action figures and you like something to decorate your desk, this guy is fantastic.